Arwa, I'd like to just begin here with this with this American journalist, um, Simon Ostrovsky. Tell me, what are the efforts uh, being made to, to free him? What was he doing, do we even know, at the time of capture? Well, there have been calls by the U.S. for his uh, release. The specific details as to how he was taken into detention, those are a bit unclear at this stage, but we did hear from the self-proclaimed mayor of Slavyansk, that is where Ostrovsky was detained by these pro-Russian protesters, saying that, yes, they did have him in their custody. And then he was a bit vague in his terminology, initially saying that he was simply a guest, that he was being allowed to work, then that he was a detainee, that he was being investigated, that they didn't want to release him, that they were accusing him of provocative rhetoric. He did also, this self-declared mayor, go on to say that they had around 10 individuals in their custody detained, that they were hoping eventually uh, to exchange them for some of their activists that are being held by the Ukrainian government. He did, however, promise that select media would have access to Ostrovsky at some point hmm. uh, yesterday. So that's where we stand on that right now, Brooke. What about just on the ground where you are? I understand you're seeing more uh, Ukrainian police checkpoints going up. Yeah, police checkpoints, security services checkpoints, especially uh, where we are here in the city of Donetsk. The government in Kiev saying that they're going to uh, vamp up their anti-terrorist operations. They have been calling it, although when they did initially launch that, it did prove to be a massive failure, quite the embarrassment for the Ukrainian military. And whilst the government in Kiev is saying that they're going to move forward with their efforts uh, to try to conduct these anti-terrorism operations, when it comes to those pro-Russian protesters who are occupying these various uh, buildings throughout eastern Ukraine, they've fortified themselves and they have absolutely no intention of going anywhere at mm. this point in time. All efforts to try to negotiate the surrender of these buildings have also failed so far. Mm.